there is a potential legal action against the Metropolitan Police for the cover-up of Downing Street's Christmas parties. It's not looking good for Downing Street or the Met for that matter because I don't understand why this is actually escalating from the Met side. They've now confirmed that they're not changing their position. They're not investigating the Christmas parties that happen around Downing Street. I think we've got about like nine or ten now. Uh, the, the press and media keep leaking and leaking and leaking because the Met believes that this is a historic thing. I mean, all cases are historic. If, if you find, if you have evidence, you investigate, you find them. That's it. Because I'm going to say why this matters. A lot of people still say, especially pro Boris people say, oh, it's still a trivial issue. It's not about the Christmas parties themselves. It's about the fact that they told us we can't do anything and then they did it themselves. And then it's about the deeper problem with the establishment in general. Now the Met have accidentally fallen into trouble because they could be facing a legal action thanks to the Good Law Project who are now written to the leadership of the Met to ask them to justify why when you have evidence or evidence is coming through why are you not investigating a potential case? Let's just say, let's be objective. Why do you not care? The reason I say this matters is the next part of this story. If we say, ah, leave them alone, ignore Downing Street, what they did during lockdown, then let's ignore them as well. The people who were fined during the lockdown for um, I mean, illegal house parties, illegal gatherings, uh, uh, sitting down in a park, drinking coffee, Sort it out. Businesses who failed to close at 10 p.m. You know, it was 10.02 p.m. and then they passed the curfew and then they, they go into trouble. Let's do something like that then. Give their money back. If, if, if you're not going to charge Downing Street, give their money back. This was one teenager who received the £10,000 fine for having a, a house gathering for 40 people when the parents were away. We've had a number of students, again, three of them, they were fined £10,000 each for hosting a house party. Uh, a lot of students, a lot of university kids, and again, a lot of people, so mostly, it can, this, this is just for entertainment. <laughs> you had businesses, you had people, ordinary, innocent people, who, as I said, walking around with a cup of coffee, sitting down for a minute to, in a park on their own, they were approached and uh, were charged. If you're going to ignore Downing Street, ignore these two now the reason i started today's video or tonight's videos uh, with this is because the next few videos are gonna be juicy i'm gonna give you all the updates from parliament and the tory party and tory leadership because uh, things are happening and the leadership challenge might be coming sooner than we expected subscribe to the channel i'm my tc and we are the media